Hello, I'm Ali Javanvakt, and welcome to the inaugural edition of The Doc is In. I'm the medical director here at UCSB Student Health. Our faithful reader might recall that The Doc is In column was published in the Daily Nexus from 1895 to 2017, but now we've decided to go with a video format instead. April is Alcohol Awareness Month, which means that your favorite alcoholic drink could start speaking to you at any time. I'm being told that's not what that means. It probably means being aware of the effect of alcohol on the body. As you may or may not know, there are cutoffs for at-risk alcohol use. Any male who drinks more than five drinks per episode or any female who drinks more than four drinks per episode is considered to be at risk with their alcohol use, meaning they're at risk of health complications from alcohol. So what exactly defines a drink? Let's take a look with the red cup. To help with the measurements, we'll be using the famous Life of the Party red cups, complete with lines to help with measurements. Medically speaking, a drink is defined as 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, 3 ounces of a liquor like Irish cream, Kahlua, so that'd be in between these two lines, and 1.5 and ounces of a spirit like vodka, gin, whiskey, tequila. Keep in mind that when the cup is filled at the top, the cup holds 16 ounces. So that's one and a half drinks of beer, or three drinks of wine, or five drinks of a liquor, or a full 10 drinks of a spirit. Therefore, when filled to the top, it's best reserved for your non-alcoholic drinks, such as water, water, or diet water. Now why you may ask are there different cutoffs for men and women? It's because men and women's bodies metabolize alcohol differently. Alcohol is a depressant, meaning that it slows things down. Slow down roll call. Reaction time, slower. Judgment, impaired. Inhibitions, I love Nickelback. Lowered. Once alcohol levels get high enough, the brain processes are slowed down so much that people can't form new memories. That's known as a blackout. As alcohol levels rise further still, the brain processes that have to do with keeping people awake stop working as well. And this is where people pass out. This is a medical emergency and 911 has to be called right away. Why? Why do we have to call 911? Why can't we just let them sleep it off? Because we don't know which way alcohol is going. Could be that it's turning around and coming back down, or it could continue to rise. And if it gets high enough, it'll affect the parts of the brain that tell the heart to beat and the lungs to breathe, and people can die. So therefore, it is important for anyone who's passed out to call 911 right away. But what about alcohol abuse and dependence? So alcohol abuse, is defined as alcohol use that causes problems in social work or uh, educational levels. Alcohol dependence is defined as having withdrawals from alcohol, like the shakes, needing more alcohol to get the same effect, feeling guilty about alcohol drinking, feeling like you don't have control over how much alcohol you drink. If you feel like you want to take a look at your alcohol use, our trained ADB counselors are expert in the field, and they can help you in whatever shape, form, and to whatever extent you would like. So that's it in a nutshell for our April Alcohol Awareness episode. Thank you for watching, and for more information, please visit our websites. See you next month.